Right, rightly or wrongly, I'm going in solo on the south side as well. I was going to hold off until there was a couple of us here, but I think I just can't trust the weather. It looks like it's going to turn on Wednesday. So if today and tomorrow I can strip that on my own and hopefully get the membrane on, I think the front should be okay. The only issue is it's blooming hot today. And especially when you're up on those slates, it's um, a little bit toasty. There's not too many things I'm going to change. I'm going to go for the same method of putting the board at the bottom and then stripping, sliding them down and then sorting them out afterwards. So for this side of the roof, I really wanted to cut down on that middle step of stacking all the slates at the bottom, then shifting them again, and then taking them down on the winch, and just that whole double moving everything. So what I had is coincided it with the day that Will happened to be over, give me a hand. Now Will's helped me out on various projects over the past 12 months, 18 months, and while I didn't really want him up on the scaffolding or up on the roof itself, it was helpful having someone at the bottom that could unload the the bag in this case that we were using to winch down the slates now I'll go into the details on the winch and the whole setup there in a future video but what I'm trying to do is just get a decent batch down um, on each you know every five minutes or so he can then grade them and sort them at the bottom and he can put the stuff in the skip that needs to go in the skip and put the good ones and stack them properly so we know they're going to be fine you know they could sit there for years if they needed to um, but this side of the roof it really went a lot smoother although there was a still only just myself up on the roof having someone at the bottom there uh, obviously sped things up now in an ideal world you'd probably have two or three of you up here you know one person on the roof one person at the bottom and one person toing and throwing to the winch but you know even this it took probably half a day to strip this whole side of the roof of slates and sort them grade them and stack them uh, with just the two of us now i had endless comments saying that i was bonkers to be doing this alone in the last video but rest assured this was just that freak dry week that we had a couple of weeks ago and at this point I've already membraned and battened the other side of the roof on the north side so I haven't stripped the whole thing in one uh, but we'll just put all the membrane footage in the next episode. So yes I have got tarps, membranes, all sorts that I could patch the whole roof if it, there was a sudden freak downpour or if I couldn't do it uh, before the weather turned but you know I took the, the punt that it was going to be absolutely fine, stripped the slates in the first half a day Battens came off and membrane went on the next day. So, yes, if you can manage finding two dry days in the UK at some point during the year, then you can probably manage it alone, but make sure you've got something as a backup. Now, I will get asked, because I have already on Instagram, the winch setup I'll go into in some more detail in the future, but it's an inexpensive purchase rather than a hire. Um, and it's just worked really well. It was well spent money and it's going to be really handy getting both the slates off the roof and down to the bottom, but also getting all the new gear back up. Uh, and it means also that I can kind of work on my own if I have to. The bumper hoists or the conveyor type uh, setups, you definitely need someone bottom and top all the time whilst it's running. Whereas this, if needs be, I can you know send it down and then deal with putting grabbing all the stuff out of the bag um, when I get down there myself or I can get Joe when we get the slates up on the roof hopefully Joe will be able to load it up down the bottom and each evening we'll just do a couple of hundred slates and get them up that way there are all sorts of buckets and hoist um, kind of crates they're really expensive they're at 200 pounds more expensive than the winch itself um, so for this instance I'm just going very small batches I've lined the bottom of this um, bulk bag with a piece of plywood and just sitting them in them and carefully and, and winching them up and down it's probably not the best way to go but at least you know that the bag's strong enough it's designed for that 
you just got to be careful that obviously your slates don't start tearing the bag and that's why I've lined it. So at the end of day one, I managed to get Will to pass up the battens because they're 4.8 metres from the ground. He could just about reach up. I could grab them, load them all up and they're ready for me to work alone on the next day. Day two of the south side and it's a uh, heavy rain that's forecast today. The back is almost all weather tight. There's just a the little bit of flashing around the Velux to sort and the ends to just tack down. The front is a different story. Last bit of slate to whip off the back side, then we'll get the battens off, then we'll clear down and hopefully get the membrane on. This strip I've left the bay because I figured we can treat that as a, its own roof but that one raft that comes down to the peak of the bay has got a sag in it and I really want to get rid of that so we've got nice slates all the way across so it's mainly this one here which is about I'd guess 15 mil 20 mil lower and then the ones either side are a tiny bit lower Right, just in the worst two, that'll just take the dip out a little bit. It's not a structural thing, it's just aesthetics, but at least that's done now. So that's it folks, I'm gonna leave this episode here. That is the roof stripped. Bring on the membrane and hold off on the rain. If you enjoyed this one, then do give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with the whole roofing series. But remember, if you can, do it yourself, and we'll see you next time.